there on Twitter. And they're all talking about this new technology being revealed from Jaguar and Land Rover. What am I talking about? Try a 360 degree virtual windscreen, complete with transparent pillars and a navigation system called Ghost Car. Take a look. Why do I love that so much? Because it reminds me of Mario Kart. You guys know what I'm talking about with the ghost car. So cool. It was easy to miss, too. But those two pillars had video cameras on the outside of them projecting onto the inside, making them seem invisible. Now, joining me now, someone who is really tuned into what's going on in the car industry. She is known as the car coach, Miss Lauren Figgs. How are you, Lauren? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Now, I understand, let's just start with this, that you are actually Skyping in from a car with Wi-Fi? Yeah, I'm sitting in the 2015 Chrysler 300. This is brand new, and we had the opportunity to test their Wi-Fi, so I thought, why not a great opportunity to show it to you? That is incredible. And, I mean, the amount of tech that is getting into cars, and not just into the highest price points, but trickling down is incredible. Let's focus first, though, on what Jaguar talked about yesterday. How long has this been in development, mm -hmm. and how expensive is this going to be? Because it doesn't seem like it's cheap. Well, when you're purchasing a Jaguar or a Land Rover, you're usually looking for the best of the best. And they certainly provide that in their design and their quality and their vehicles. So they're just looking to take that next step ahead to show their innovativeness by taking away the one huge blind spot that every car has, which is the A-pillars. That's between the windshield and the driver's side or passenger side window. And we've all done that. You've pulled out into an intersection and you can't see it. So this technology has been evolving. It's obviously not going to be clear. What you're most likely going to see is some sort of image projected there because of all the cameras that are being used on vehicles these days that will help you see those blind spots, take away that doubt in your mind. Right, and it's not just technology for the sake of technology. This is actually safety oriented, but right. it's not exclusive to some of the most expensive vehicles on the road. Things are trickling down into some of these lower price points like this Chrysler that you're in right now with Wi-Fi. What are some of the other really cool things that we can come to expect in some of the lower price points or technology that's trickled down into that price point? Well, even in the Chrysler 200, you're not just seeing Wi-Fi on cars. You're seeing that in GM and Ford uh, lineups as well as Audi. So when you're looking at, like, I need a reasonably priced car, you can get the new Ford with the new sync system. They just showed that to us the other day, and Wi-Fi is becoming common. What you're also seeing is forward collision warning, not just, okay, the vehicle in front of you. We've seen that. But two vehicles in in front of you. The Nissan Murano has it. This Chrysler 300 has it. Uh, you're seeing it in a, in a lot of things. The Kia Sorento has it as well. So you're looking at Kia lineup offering some of this new technology that stops, you know, cross traffic alert. So you're backing out of a parking spot. We've all done that. You look five or six times and then, you know, you go and there's a car there. So this will stop. It'll actually give you that warning. These technologies and the car to car communication is going to be what you're going to see in the next year or two down the road. Now, obviously, accident avoidance is a big thing, especially with how distracted drivers are. Do you feel like things like Wi-Fi, I mean, you're on Skype right now from the inside of a car, could potentially lead to even more distraction? Or are, they, are these things that are going to be disabled while you're driving? Well, for the driver, they will be disabled. For the people in the back seat, this is what kids want. I want to watch my Netflix while we're on the road. I want to Skype with my friends. I always say, when you go on vacation with your family, you're not just going alone now. You're going with all of their friends because of social media. So it allows them to stay connected. And actually, I think that would have worked better when my kids were younger. They're now in their 20s. But uh, it would have been nice to have them a little quieter in back rather than stop touching me. So. <laughs> yeah, and just to confirm, Lauren, you're not driving right now, right? No, I am sitting in a parking spot because that would be the smartest, safest thing to do. <laughs> but for other people that are in this vehicle with me, if they're on their phones, they're on their devices, and they're utilizing them, and it's, it's great to have that available. When I'm driving, my eyes are on the road, my hands are on the wheel. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it, Lauren. Thank you.
All right. Now, tell us what you think. Head over to our HLN Now Facebook page. What do you feel about this technology? And more importantly, I want to hear from you guys. 